to the YouTube community. My name is Arch Parsons, and this is my review on my new SanDisk SDHC 32 gigabyte Class 10 memory card. We hope you'll find it beneficial. Not all eBay memory cards, even those from China, few in my opinion, are fakes. Here are a few of the hundreds of sites spreading propaganda about uh, fake memory cards. One third of the memory cards are fake. I don't believe that those claims. Apparently they're even trying to make money selling software to fix a fake card. I personally am very skeptical about the claims that there have been so many fake memory cards out there. Some sites even say that no uh, cards on eBay are not fake. This is the card I ordered. And the seller's name is Buy7710, located in Hong Kong, China. At US 3749, it was the cheapest I could find. And it came here in two weeks. Here I am on my. Uh, patio table on the back deck uh, opening the package just after it arrived If this wasn't a genuine product, the package certainly looked genuine. Everything in seven different languages. It's not easy to damage the card because it's inside a plastic case when you get in there. In order to get the 45 megabyte speed, you need to have a UHS-1 compatible device, and we'll talk about that a little later. You see circle in the 10, uh, 10 in the small circle indicating class 10, which was the main thing I was concerned about. There's free software included, a uh, restore software for getting back pictures you accidentally delete. There are a couple of Nikon cameras that are UHS-1 compatible. This is a UHS-1 compatible card reader for your computer. Older computers need a USB 3 update card for their PCI slot. The circle 
around the serial number uh, shows its location. It's harder to see than it looks here. I had trouble using these USB card readers. It may be the readers or it may be something to do with the computers. They both uh, determined that there were errors on the memory card. This was not the case when I tested them with the built-in memory cards in my laptop or in my desktop PC. I found the preceding two card readers gave false results. I'm suggesting the same thing may happen in defective computers or cameras. You need to download and install H2TestW and test the card immediately. Here's the website. And here's how it looks. The card needs to be formatted before testing. It tests the card and then verifies it. On my computer the whole thing took about an hour. You can see it showed no errors and gave a speed of between 15 and 20 megabytes per second. I'm just trying to uh, copy and paste the results into WordPad. in Microsoft Word. I tested the card with a few other uh, pieces of software, Flash Memory Toolkit. It finds the card and gives the information about the card. It goes right through the card and tests the read and write speed and looks for errors. You have to delete the files first. writing at about 16 to 17 megabytes per second at the halfway point. Like the H2 test W test, it takes about an hour to do the whole thing. 
Here you can pause the video if you wish to see the final results. It says read speed 6 megabytes per second and then below it says 13 so that seems like a bug. Now we're doing an errors test. You can see the read speed of about 18 megabytes per second. I didn't wait for this to go all the way across. This is referred to as the benchmark test. It gives the summary of read and write speeds for different file sizes on the disk. This is showing uh, read and write speeds for the most part around 17 to 18 megabytes per second on this slow computer. HD2 Pro, uh, Pro 5. Another test of read and write speed. Check flash 1.161. Read and write speed showed near the bottom during 19 and 16. Disk bench. What you'd like to see. Errors would be shown as red blocks. And here's a registration using the serial number. I downloaded and installed Rescue Pro Deluxe and this seems to work fine. It took a long time because there was a lot of uh, deleted files uh, from the previous test. So I had to delete all these temporary files at first. In the moment you'll see a lot of BMP files uh, which I think were from a previous uh, Magic Lantern user guide that was on the card and deleted. On the bottom there you can see some JPEG files uh, that I took of the TV screen which were deleted and could have been recovered.